Hello dudes and dudettes, it's your favorite Radio Gamer Mixer 17 here, bringing you another Minecraft Let's Build. <laughs> so, this one would probably be mistaken this for being a Let's Play, but frankly I wouldn't be having a bunch of blocks in my inventory, nor would I be in a conveniently placed flat area. So, <clears throat> This is basically my survival world that I have been working on with a few of my friends. One of them being Panda. Well, let's just say I'm not really proud of the house that I built for him, so I'm gonna build him a bigger, different house. And I thought, why not just make a video out of it? In complete survival, except for the fact that I am in currently peaceful mode, due to the fact that I'd rather not have any interruptions throughout this entire build. That and I frankly don't want to keep going back and forth with the beds since the introductions of phantoms, because those guys are pesky creatures. Alright, so I believe right about here. No, here. Alright, cool. This will be the start then. So, I am building him a much different house than what I am used to doing. And frankly, I have no clue how this is going to go. So, oh, boy, this is going to be highly questionable, I guess you can call it. Now then, how many spaces in between from each point A to point B, which would have to become 12, 1, 2, 3. No, not 12. Not 12 indeed. 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 21. Cool. And just up here. Alright. And as for the height, well... Uh, if this thing is gonna raise, rise, rise, like I always usually normally do, then it would have to become, uh, let's see, eight, nine, ten, seventeen, eighteen, roughly. Yeah. So, uh, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's why I got more. Seventeen, eighteen. There we go. Yeah, frankly, I'd rather have. I absolutely love these blocks because these things will help out so much. Oh, hey, I forgot. Alright, then that should be enough. Okay, well, this is gonna be something. Now then, I guess I shall begin on the entirety of this house. Oh boy. So... This is why I should keep this thing in handy in case of stuff like this nonsense I do all the time. Okay, so... The width of this house is basically going to be 21. Yes, it should be 21. So let's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And there we have it. This is basically the production of the actual ground for the first floor. Now then, these rooms are going to be much big, and the fact that this is going to be a very different house compared to what I'm used to, this is going to be some very odd measurements. So, in this case, I'll be going up 8 blocks, 
on each pillar that I will be creating on this little surface area. And let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is exactly why I had these things so that way I don't keep jumping off and eventually killing myself because of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because no knowing me, I would definitely end up getting myself killed because of this. And now lastly, from the pillars, uh, or at least one pillar, any of them, I will count nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then go one more and ten. And it should be the same over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it is. Good enough. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. Oh, whoops, forgot this is not another game. And then afterwards, I will just build the top area completely. Oh, wait, I didn't even mention which block this was. This is basically white concrete. Yeah, nothing all too special except the fact that um, this is a block I never thought I'd ever use. But then again, I did have plans for a future house. Basically, this is my test to see how well this house comes out to be. Okay, and... Yeah, these things are going to be huge. Alright. So, this is basically the width of the house. Now then, the length of the house sh should be... Let's see if it is let's see okay so since we have this one wall here that means this already eliminates this already demonstrates one piece out of the entirety of this place so <clears throat> sorry so this entirety of the house will become a total number of 31 blocks long, which is only 10 blocks longer than that, which should have been pretty obvious if I wasn't thinking straight. So, let's, let me begin. Two, oh, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirty-one. There we go. 31, indeed. And then afterwards, just bring this around here. And if you're one that is quite uh, cautious of what the heck is going on with their build, then just go ahead and do this, which is just to return to the normal base of one side and put it all together. And then once again, we do the exact same thing that we did over there. Thanks, Minecraft. And that is just to go eight blocks high. And it's directly eight blocks. That is a little concerning. And then we just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it should basically be the same. Another way to make sure that this is the case is just to jump on top of the block and look directly across. If I just align it, boom. Directly across, across, what? And it's right there. And that's basically the end of all that. So I might just end up having to kill myself because of that. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Yeah, that's not, that seems about right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we just build across. In fact, we could actually continue this along the length itself. So just right here. I should really get more of these scaffolding blocks, but I won't be messing with that right now. And here we are. There we go. Um, there we go. Okay, and now... It's basically going to be nine blocks between each other. It's going to stay throughout the entirety of this place. And it's going to be right here as well. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should get yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's correct. And then you just bring down each pillar. Wait, what? Oh, that's just an annoyance there. How could I have gone that wrong? Wasn't I on top of the thing? Maybe I'm just too tired. Did I do it again? Oh, no, I didn't. Right here. And voila! We have ourselves that side. <laughs> nothing too crazy, nothing too special. But still a better achievement than not having anything. Now then, basically this type of build is something that I'm not uh, really very familiar with. So I'm technic technically, I'm testing this out for the very first time for myself including the use of this block which I might end up not liking this build whatsoever but hey that's that's not really up to me now is it uh, then again I never really appreciated my own work so doesn't matter anyway so in between each of these gaps of the 9 by 7 areas is basically gonna be an entire place of entire place entire section of windows that I'm going to be placing down yes like I said this is a very unfamiliar build that I am not used to in fact I'd build my houses much more differently compared to this but frankly it's not bad to test new things out and see how things go which is why I'm doing this Another reason is because I also did not appreciate the house that I built for Panda originally, so I'm building this thing. And there we have it. We have the beginning piece of our build. Now then, on to the more difficult piece. And that is to <laughs> basically separate the entirety of all of this here. Yeah. So... In this case, there's going to be a lot of lines, except for the center area, which is here. That there, we will not touch. But in these other areas, yes, we will in fact be putting these lines from the pillars. What the heck? Just bring them all together and connect them without the line for the central piece, or these two central areas. And there we have it. There 
is this area basically. I can't really think of what the heck I'm gonna call this. Now then, each of these areas has their own distinct reasonings and purposes of why it is that they are the way they are. And for me to get to there, I can't explain at the moment, but I will in due time. Now then, I will then now continue this for the second floor. Now the second floor is going to be a little more different. I won't just go be based off the exact same thing that I just did here, although I will do one thing, and that is to also connect the lines right here. Yes, the lines will be quite parallel to each other. Uh, well, except for this one right here, it'll be perpendicular, but we're not in geometry, so it doesn't matter. What does matter is that we do the exact same thing as we did right here. And then it's going to get a little more something else in the near, very near future. I should probably bring these down, or maybe not. I should have really got myself some more scaffoldings. <laughs> okay. But yes, all we do is just connect these here, and then afterwards, we're going to basically do the exact same thing we did on the bottom floor to the top floor. Yeah, I know, that sounds a little crazy, a little out of line, but it's just the sole purpose of being a very large house with quite a lot of room. And there goes that. And there we go. We got the entirety of this place all finished up and now we get to move on to the next piece. Now for the ground floor uh, by using this block still, we will basically be doing the exact copy that we did for the ground floor except this time we will be connecting these two pieces. So just to get a better understanding, we're going one up and just basically imitating the exact same thing we did for the ground. Oh boy, if only I had that, it's, this would be making things a little more easy and a little faster. Maybe even cut the whole thing out so that way none of y'all would have to see the entire slow process of me having to do all this nonsense. And we are out. Which might be a little concerning. I thought I would have enough. Apparently, I don't think I will now. And this was what I was talking about. I just built the entirety of the ground floor formation that we use the white concrete for, but instead this time put a lining on the top surface and not on the bottom. So we will end up like this. And I can't really explain right now, but in due time I probably will. Or actually, no, I not probably. I will have to. Oh boy, I really need more scaffoldings. Ah oh man, I always underestimate the... No, not underestimate. 
overestimate. No, wait, is it underestimate or overestimate? One of those two. When it comes to the amount of blocks that I always have, whenever it comes to any of builds, any of the builds that I ever do, I don't know why. This is a certain thing. I should just go overkill and get as much blocks as I possibly can, no matter how much there is left. And there we go. There is the entirety of the ground for the second floor. Now that we continue on by basically doing the exact same thing that we did from the bottom to the top when it comes to the pillars at least six seven eight there we go and oh boy and just so that way I can make sure I don't die so quickly or the fact that I actually enjoy my life I'm just gonna do this I'm just gonna build and match basically all along the top surface and just basically do this the entirety of the time. Oh boy, we are, I am running out of blocks fast. Should have possibly done the math. Oh, luckily for the next episode, I'll be a little more prepared and grab so many supplies. And there we go. We are all... We are now completely connected. Okay. And now we just put in the pillars exactly the same way as they were. Except this time, with a little more life-threatening consequences. Even though it's not going to kill me, still. I'm going to get quite low. And the fact that this thing just keeps getting taller. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this whole thing now. Because <laughs> I am down to less than a stack. And the fact that I still got to do the... The entirety of the ground floor that I just did right here. And put it on the top. Hmm. Oh well. Oh wait, no, I don't think that's in the right design notes. Yeah, no, it's not. Alright, well, otherwise, I will show you. Oh, God. Alright, here we are. Now then, for the top, the very top, oh boy. For one thing, we don't want to die yet. <laughs> Actually, now we will go right here let's see how far this takes us 
and we will build our final pieces the exact same way as we did beforehand. If I have enough, probably don't. Alright, and there we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough. <laughs> but oh well. At least you'll get the basic general idea of what the heck it is I'm talking about throughout this entirety of this madness that I'm doing. And I think I will save the rest. Oh, the rest of these blocks are just for the fact that I don't end up getting myself lost throughout this entire thing. But hopefully others are more prepared and the fact that it requires white concrete and the basic formation that this is. The only difference between the first floor and the second floor is the fact that there is a connection between the central two pieces. And I just did the thing I was trying to avoid. Like I, I'm showing here, there is an obvious big difference. So, just fill in the two blank areas that are right there, and I will definitely get back on that the next episode. But for now, though, I will continue on doing the windows, and including the ground floor. Now then, I'm gonna... Of course, I can't carry all of this, so I kept everything in here. And yes, there's a bit of redstone in this build, but we won't get to that. And I'm probably gonna need more glass, because now I'm looking like I'm not gonna let's do this entire thing. But yeah, let's do the floors. It's nothing. The floors are a little more simpler than what this thing was. Now, the floors are just spruce wood. Spruce wood planks. And luckily I brought logs because I know that I'm going to need more. And all you have to do is just fill in this central piece, but be careful due to the fact that in a little bit we will be hitting at a point where you don't build anything and instead just avoid it. Now then, now that we are here, this here is basically a 9x9 nine nine spacing area. So if I could find the central area which I think is right here yes right here yeah alright so basically you want to avoid a 3x3 three three area in the center right here yes You want to avoid a 3x3 three three center piece right here. You want to just give me all this. Whoops. And this is why I need to carry an axe. But fill in the rest. And it's just turning to night, huh? Well, pesky Minecraft timers. Anywho, going back at the matter at hand, what we, what I will then move on to next is, of course, not fill in this hole. This hole needs to stay, and do not touch this area here because this area will stay the way it is for now. 
until I obtain the blocks that is required for me to fill in this area. But here, I can fill it in. And there we have it. Just this little small area, nothing too much of importance, except for later I will demonstrate why it is here in the first place. Now then, as for these two areas, this one I will leave alone, once again, much similar to that other area over here. I will leave this one here alone, only for a bit of a purpose that will come in later. For now though, we will move on to here. Now here, it's basically going to be the exact same thing that we did over there. Okay, well, I really need to carry an axe now. Hm. And as you can see there, that was a lot of wood that I just used up right now. And the fact that this also has to go upstairs is not in the same pattern that I did here. Definitely not the same pattern I did here. In fact, it's going to be a little more different, for which I may have a small amount of... No, I have a small amount of time to do this. So, I shall do it. Now then, I will show this one here, since this one here will require a little bit more different than the other previous ones. This one here. Go around the edge. Oh dear, we're not going to have enough to complete this build, are we? Okay, well then I will just show you the main important piece. Which is right here. Yes, yeah, right here. And that is to have an open space just directly here. Yes, right here. No, oh, and I'm out. I'll leave an open space here and I will deal with these blocks here but technically these ones are supposed to be a one level lower and these ones will be replaced with slabs and you'll see why in a future episode for now though I will I will have to stop right here and I think the only thing I'll be doing off camera is or off yeah off screen is just completing this small little area here and connecting these bits here Sorry I couldn't get to the windows, but this is a big place and it's going to require a lot more resources, which I might have to get more windows for. And I hope that you've followed throughout this entire instructions, and I hope you all enjoy it for anyone unfortunate enough to watch these videos. Goodbye.